the future of business aviation is taking center stage. <laughs> and with this, eBase 2017 is officially open. Hi everybody, I'm Lise Martens with eBase TV. The sky is the limit at the European Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition because this is where innovative products, services and business aviation professionals come together. During the opening general session, inspirational keynote speaker Bertrand Picard captivated audiences. The adventurer and chairman of the Solar Impulse project is the first to fly a solar-powered aircraft around the world. We never needed to stop. We could just fly forever. And imagine the situation when you take several days to cross an ocean. When you look at the sun, you look at your four electrical motors with propellers turning very slowly next to you, and you have no noise, no pollution, no fuel. And you know that you can fly like that for days and nights. It's magical. Picard says the aviation industry needs to keep alive its spirit of innovation and pioneering. He says part of that mission involves the continuing development of increasingly fuel-efficient technologies. If we want to promote clean technologies, we have to do it in the field that attracts the awareness of the people. If you do it in cars or boats, it's nice, but people will not look at it the same way. Let's use aviation to show what we can do today with clean technologies. Picard says his solar-powered flight proved what's possible, but it's important to take it a step further. Within 10 years, we will have e even less, nine years and seven months, because I'm saying that since five months. We will have electric airplanes flying full electric with 50 people on board. I make you the promise. It will not be across an ocean at first. It will be short haul, medium haul. But can you imagine the advantage of transporting 50 people full electric when you charge the battery on the grid before takeoff? The business aviation community has a long record of investment in pioneering lighter, yet stronger and more fuel-efficient airframes and propulsion systems. That's evident, for example, in the engine Rolls-Royce is showcasing at eBase. We have in front of us a BR725 engine, and that right now is state-of-the-art. And it's an excellent example of what we've done to improve our performance overall. It's a quieter engine than what we've had in the field in the past. It has better fuel consumption, and overall, the uh, NOx emissions are substantially lower than previous engines. And they aren't the only ones investing in technology to help minimize the environmental footprint. Pratt & Whitney Canada is also dedicated to the cause. The PW800, for example, you know, we've got uh, an engine that's got roughly you know, 10% better fuel efficiency than predecessor engines in this uh, space. Um, and beyond that, we look at uh, how we can manufacture engines uh, more sustainably. Uh, so in our manufacturing processes, uh, we've eliminated um, volatile organic compounds for cleaning uh, parts of the engines. In the design of the engines, we've eliminated materials of concern like cadmium, hexavalent chromium, and the like. So from cradle to grave, how to make a less impactful product. To keep on top of the industry's green commitment, just search environment on the NBAA or EBAA website. And to see more highlights from eBase, just head to the eBase newsroom at ebase.aero. I'm Lise Martens and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.